Hello, my name is John Hood. I'm a tax partner with Moore Kingston Smith and I specialise in tax dispute resolution. Today I wanted to talk to you about deliberate behaviour and where this comes up in a tax investigation or inquiry. This is really important because HMRC nowadays are tasked with recovering all of the tax which they consider to be due and by establishing that someone has acted deliberately it allows them to go back up to 20 years to recover the taxes and also to charge tax geared penalties which can be as high as 100% of the tax liability where it's UK or 200% where it's overseas. Now HMRC's definition of deliberate behaviour is where someone submitted a document to HMRC containing information that they knew was incorrect and or they did not tell HMRC at the right time about information that they knew was relevant to a liability to tax or duty and or they made a claim for repayment from HMRC to which they knew they were not entitled. So this is quite uh, broad in what HMRC can consider to be deliberate and it's really important that if HMRC do uh, discuss with you the behaviour that led to the tax being lost or an overpayment being claimed which was incorrect that you consider your behaviour and make sure that you get this right. HMRC uses uh, the category of deliberate to go back up to 20 years as I mentioned so whereas normally they can go back up to four years or six years with carelessness so it really does extend the time limits to recover unpaid tax and also the penalties. So one of the things to consider is well uh, whether or someone had knowledge or intent at the time they submitted the form. So it's a subjective test so did you realise that when you submitted your tax return that it was incorrect or did, you or did you intend to submit your tax return knowing that it was incorrect? These two things need to be uh, bottomed out and it can be really important in terms of minimising your exposure uh, to HMRC powers. As I mentioned, the penalties are significant as well. It can be a minimum of 20% and a maximum of 100%. And if it's offshore, the maximum penalty HMRC can charge is 200%. They also have the facility to charge uh, asset-based penalties as well, if there's deliberate behaviour. So it's really important if you do have a tax investigation or an inquiry, HMRC do assert that there was deliberate behaviour, that you deal with this matter inappropriately and get specialist advice as early as you possibly can. Now we specialise in assisting clients with tax inquiries and also making voluntary disclosures to HMRC. We can talk to you about the type of behaviour and how HMRC would interpret it. There's another category, as I mentioned earlier, called carelessness. This is where you do something that an ordinary person would not normally do when dealing with their tax affairs. So what would a prudent person have done? Would they have uh, made the same error or mistake that you have made? That's an objective test. As I said, with deliberate behaviour, it's a subjective test based on what your intention or knowledge was at the time you submitted the form. We can help you with the whole matter. Uh, deliberate behaviour often gets raised in Code of Practice 9 and the Contractual Disclosure Facility. And at the beginning of those uh, types of inquiry, you have to decide whether or not you accept that you acted deliberately. So getting advice at the beginning can be really important. HMRC have recently stated that if someone tries to um, mislead them or not cooperate in an inquiry that they will use their criminal investigation powers and this is really key at the moment to making sure that if you do have a tax inquiry you get the best advice and you get a successful outcome. So I hope that we can speak soon. Thank you.